Honorable Speaker, we also did resolve the same in the House Business Committee yesterday, and we expected her. Honorable Speaker, it's important for the House to note that we have rescheduled the appearance of Cabinet Secretaries through the House Business Committee twice in the last two weeks because of the urgency of the finance-related bills, the Finance Bill, the Appropriations Act, the Supplementary Appropriations Act, and all the other business that we had in the last two weeks. And therefore, these Cabinet Secretaries and the Cabinet Secretary for uh, Lands and Housing were scheduled to appear three weeks ago, and twice we have had to reschedule them and communicate at the same to the ministries and the cabinet secretaries. I have also been copied to the letter, Honorable Speaker, that uh, is in your hands, and I have to agree with you that indeed this letter is not only discourteous, but is full of contempt for the House. Because the letter says that reference is made to the letter from the clerk dated 27th June, inviting me to respond to the above questions. I wish to notify that I will not be able to appear for the plenary session as scheduled because of an official engagement outside the Nairobi County. The purpose of this letter, therefore, is to request for rescheduling of the session to next Wednesday, 12 July 2023, in a time that is convenient to the members and forward written responses to be presented during the plenary session. Honorable Speaker, as you have said, this letter is just not casual, but very contemptuous of the House. And it must be clear to all our cabinet secretaries that they don't appear before the National Assembly or before Parliament as a favor to anybody. They appear before these elected representatives of the people to be accountable to the people of Kenya. And allow me, Honorable Speaker, to begin first by apologizing to the members. The member for Konoin, the Honorable Brighton Yagon, the Honorable Member for Ayata, Honorable Basil, and the Honorable Member for Kiambu, Mashua Waidaka, the Honorable Member for Kirinyaga, who came very early. Uh, seated behind me, Honorable Jane Minor, and the Honorable Joyce Kamene, the member for Machakos County, who had questions lined up for this cabinet secretary for Labour, the Honorable Florence Bore. It is not just discourteous of a cabinet secretary to write such a casual letter, and not on Friday, and I'm sure she must be following, being a former member of this House, she must know that on Thursdays there is a statement from the House Business Committee that schedules business for the following week. She didn't write this letter on Friday. She has written this letter today. And that is why I say it's not just discourteous, it is contempt for the House. And we must make it clear as a House that we shall not allow any Cabinet Secretary, however powerful you think you are, however mighty you may perceive yourself, to hold the people's representatives with contempt and the institution of parliament. We will do whatever it takes, Honorable Speaker, and the, all members of the cabinet know what it can take to protect the constitutional mandate of this house and of parliament. When I look at the questions that these members are asking, these are issues of grave concern to the people. And for a cabinet secretary to write a letter to say she is engaged in official business which you don't even define, and I was speaker, let me disclose, I have just spoken to her on phone, yes. and she is telling me she was going to inaugurate a, NITA, a board of NITA, National Industrial, Industrial Training, something that she can reschedule within her own ministry. But the House sittings cannot be rescheduled to suit the whims of cabinet secretaries. And we will not allow that, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, none other than President William Ruto has made it clear in public, and I am certain even in cabinet meetings, that the House, the business of the House takes precedence over any other business. And that is the tradition of Parliament. 
when you are a cabinet secretary and you are invited to parliament, that is a business that takes precedence over any other official engagements. Not NITA, not attending funerals, not attending weddings. Whether you are in Mombasa, whether, wherever you are, we don't care. Come attend to the concerns of the people. And we must make it clear to this cabinet secretary, as honorable speaker. And as majority leader, I will never stand here to defend a cabinet secretary or indeed any member of government who is contemptuous of the house and contemptuous of the people of Kenya. Honorable speaker, the president himself has even committed that he shall never hold a cabinet meeting on a Wednesday because he wants cabinet secretaries to appear before the house, not for us to come and admire them, for them to come and be accountable to the people because the president has every intent on ensuring that his cabinet and his administration is accountable to the people. Honorable Speaker, the minister tells me when I call her that she can appear here at 7. And I told her it is not your business to schedule when to appear. It is the business of the house to summon you when the people want to summon you. Honorable Speaker, I said I must say this because the Honorable Florence Bore goes to the record of this house as a first cabinet secretary to fail to appear before the house. It is not a good record, but it must go on record. She is the first cabinet secretary in the history of the 13th parliament to contemptuously fail to appear before the house. And this is behavior that we must not tolerate so that it serves as a warning shot. Yes. To others, as they used to say in Vyoja Mahakamani, kwa wengine waliona niya kama yake. So, for the others who may have such intents, notice is served. And I say notice is served from none other than the majority leader who has that responsibility to ensure that we schedule them and they appear. And they must appear, Honorable Speaker. Thank Therefore, you. Honorable Speaker... Allow me just to note that she had requested that if the House would still be sitting, and I told her that is not for me to decide. It is for the House to decide whether by 7 p.m. we can wait for her to catch her flight from Mombasa from the NITA meeting. Uh, and I will leave that to the House Honorable Speaker. Thank you. Thank you, Majority Leader. You know questions are limited to the first three hours of our sitting, from three to maximum uh, six. Secondly... You are right. In her letter, she says she wants to appear on Wednesday, 12th July. No minister appears in this house on their choosing. They come on the scheduled time of the house.